I am about to do a video on tapping when things are out of your control and how to release the emotional connection to that. But I wanted to give you a quick, a quick preamble as to where this tapping has come from. So if you're not from Australia and you are in this group, you may not have heard, but yesterday, Cardinal George Pell, the highest ranking Catholic person in Australia, uh, had his conviction for childhood, historic childhood sexual abuse overturned in the High Court on a technicality. Now, when this happened, uh, there has been rumours and accusations about his involvement in, in um, sexual abuse over years. The ABC have done a series of stories on it and just released their last one on Monday night, which is, which is so shocking. And if you haven't seen it yet, Revelation, uh, you catch an ABC iView, please watch it. It is, it, is, it is so telling. But let's get back to yesterday. So yesterday, um, the announcement came that the High Court had overturned the decision and, he, and Cardinal George Pell was now free uh, after 18 months. I think he served in jail for sexual abuse of two altar boys. I have to tell you, I was incensed. I was so angry, I couldn't think. I was, I was you know, I am a former, capital F-O-R-M-E-R, former Catholic. Um, my mother loved the Catholic Church. Um, Jerry's father it was a very devout Catholic. Uh, we, I grew up, um, you know, going to Mass every Sunday, going to confession every Saturday, Saturday night. I didn't know what I was going to confess on. Like I was 10. I don't know how many bad things I did each week, but anyway, we went to confession. Um, and uh, my parents, you know, were, were hardworking family, five kids, all went to Catholic schools. We, we all went to Catholic schools. There was no way we were going to go to any other school. Oh, no, I needed to go to Catholic schools. And so they really struggled to pay school fees and feed five children and have them involved in, you know, sport. Um, and yet every Sunday, my parents put their, you know, coins in the plate when the very first procession came around for the offity procession they put those coins in the plate or actually give us kids 20 cents each to put in and then um, another procession came around another plate came around after communion and mum and dad would always put folding money I don't know how much they put in these planned giving envelopes you know really struggling but always seemed to find money to give to the church so when this came down yesterday as I said I was really incensed and I wasn't quite sure whether I was angry because I, uh, you know, this guy has been accused of so much over the years. He's also turned a blind eye to many uh, uh, allegations of hearing uh, um, other, other Catholic priests molesting children. And he turned a blind eye, pretended didn't hear it, tried to shut them all down. I don't know whether I was angry about that or whether I was angry because, you know, I, I, I was angry for my mother and, 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 um, and so many members of my family who just, the, the Catholic Church was their lives. And so this morning when I woke up and I was still angry about it, I thought, okay, I started writing in my journal and I, oh, I had a twin, I kind of an idea. And I began to tap on it. And what came up for me was I was angry at all the times in my life I've known somebody, either some, a friend of mine who was a cool person, uh, a boss or a business partner who have done something wrong and gotten away with it. And one of the one of the memories was uh, I was in grade eight. That's like form two. We called it. It's now kind of grade eight. So it was high school, and I was I was hanging around a really cool girl in school. Her name was Melinda. I can still see her. She had long blonde hair, and she actually dyed it, which I just thought was just so cool. Fancy dyeing your hair when you're in year two. What a form two is just so cool. And we went shopping. She she came with me one day um, after school, and we went shopping, and she stole some hair dye and put it in her school bag and she, and I was just I was just so scared I was so scared that we'd get caught no I didn't take it but she did and then she laughed at me because I was such a chicken and and made out it's like all the girls she, Sally wouldn't steal anything she's such a chicken and and I thought she got away with that like she got away with that and then she made out that there was something wrong with me so I tapped on all of that and then I tapped on uh, a business partner who took an idea of mine and ran with it as her own and got away with it. Um, a, a boss that I knew was cooking the books and not paying the, the staff properly. And it was all those times. That's what I was angry about yesterday, um, was the times that I knew people had gotten away with something 
um, and at, at my detriment, either to make fun of me or in, in my case, a business associate. Um, and in this case with the, with the boss that we weren't being paid properly. So when I tapped on all of that, I was able to move to a zero. So I'm still angry about what happened yesterday with, with the High Court Cardinal Pell, but it's not dominating my thoughts. And at this time we're going through right now where, where there is so much uncertainty um, and there's so much we're not in control at the moment, it's really critical that when something like this happens, you're able to remove the emotional connection so at least you have some control on something. And at this point, I have control over how I show up every day for my clients and the things that like a video I'm doing. So I'm going to do that tapping in just a minute. But before we start it, I just want you to think, is there something at the moment in the news and the media that's in, in, you know, making you enraged or angry or incensed over the time and that's stopping you from doing what you should be doing right now to benefit you, your clients or your business. And that's what we want to do. We can still be, as Stephen Covey says, we have a circle of influence where we can create some change if we want, but we need to move the emotional connection that's driving it. But we can also have the circle of concern where we have no control. And in this case of yesterday, what happened with the high court, I have no control. I can be angry about it and in a sense by it, but the minute I stop doing what I need to be doing for the benefit of me, my family, my clients, that's the moment I'm out of control. So I'm going to um, send that tapping uh, video next. Um, but in the meantime, if you want to kind of think about anything that you may be a bit incensed with at the moment, just ensure that you're tapping around all of that, remove your emotional connection to any of that so you can think more clearly. That's how we create change.